Testing the water in your pool and balancing the chemicals is easy once you know how. First, you'll need a testing kit. To collect a water sample, lower the test kit collector upside down into the water 18 inches or until the pool water is almost up to your elbow. Flip the test collector right side up under water and make sure you're taking the water sample away from the pool jets. Remember to hold the dropper straight for each test as adding drops at an angle can affect the size of the drops. On the pH testing side, use the phenol red indicator dropper and add the recommended number of drops to the water. On the chlorine side, use the chlorine indicator dropper to add the recommended number of reagent drops to the water. For this testing kit, we use two types of drops to get our reading. Use the cap to hold the water in each side of the container. Never use your finger or thumb. Hold the collector up to a white background and compare the water color to the color scales on the collector. Water with a higher pH will be more red. On the chlorine side, the more yellow the water, the higher the chlorine level. To know how much chemicals to add, you must know how much water is in your pool. If pH is high, add sodium bisulfate following the manufacturer's instructions. If pH is low, add sodium bicarbonate following the manufacturer's instructions. If chlorine is low, add a shock back for a quick chlorine increase. The amount of shock depends on the size of the pool. After adding shock, place chlorine tablets or powder in the appropriate location near the pump. Once you add chemicals, wait about an hour, then test the pH and chlorine levels again. pH and chlorine levels in your pools should be checked daily. And as always, be sure to follow all product directions and the safety data sheets.